Yum, yum. Hey, Matt here for Pixel Fondue, and today we're going to look at action layers uh, within Modo. Uh, I'm using Modo 14 at the moment. So first off, we need an actor. And character box, which is what I'm using here, creates an actor automatically. So here's the actor here. And within the actor, we need to have some actions. So this one at the moment has a run cycle that I've done for this skeleton dude. It also has a, turn off that, also has a walk cycle like so. But what we'll do, we'll do it with the run normal. It loads up the animation for that one here. Give that a bit of a play. Okay, so what we need to do is go to the, whoops, go back to the skeleton. So this is the uh, character box rig here. I'll turn off the geometry. Uh, there's the character box rig, the geometry there. And it actually has jiggles on it there. So what we'll do first is we'll delete all the cache for the jiggles. Cool. Okay, now let's go into the character box uh, skeleton actor here. And in the actor, uh, we can see the walk and the normal, uh, walk normal and the run normal. And to start using the action layers in here, first off, what I'll show you is what's called an additive layer. Okay, so when, once you've got the additive layer in, you can see that all the keyframes have gone. And so what we can do now is we can select a uh, part of the rig here and it, we can animate or position these any way we'd like on top of the original animation. So the original animation is still here, like so. But what we can do, say we want this guy to run in a more uh, like he's running away from something, running scared. We'll just move the uh, pelvis up there like that, or rotate it. This has actually got, this rig has actually got inherent rotations off. So we'll just uh, select the bottom of the spine and just turn off uh, waiting there. Bottom of the spine, and we can rotate that one here like so. And now that, is additive, so it's on top. So now he's like he's looks like he's running away from something at full speed, like that. We can turn off that additive layer, so we still got the normal animation underneath. So, but once we turn it on, we can add to that. Again, let's give him a bit of a. I think this also has inherit rotations off, so we'll just bring that back like that and make him look there. Maybe bring his hips forward a bit like that. And all that is on top on an additive layer. We can also animate these. So we can make a keyframe on the translate and the rotation there, go to 40, maybe do that. And then bring his hips back maybe like so. So that is animated on top of the original animation. Again, let's go into here because it's got inherent rotation off. Let's uh, keyframe that there, keyframe that there, and then move it forward like that. Let's see what that looks like. Probably really crap, but it comes in and it moves forward and goes back to normal. So we can keyframe the animation like that. Okay, so that's additive layer. So what if we want to uh, use this one? This is called the override layer. When you, kick, uh, when you click the override layer, I'll just turn the additive layer off, uh, 
he goes back to the normal T pose. That's because all of these 1170 challenge channels are being overridden by this new animation that we have here in the run cycle. Now what we need to do to make sure that we can override certain channels or mask certain channels is we need to have all of the rig in the items list here. So if we go down here, we can see that all of the items related to the control objects related to this character are in here. Got to make sure you do that. Or to do that, just double click on the root. So everything is selected. I usually deselect the root. Make sure this is selected by control and clicking select and then right click, right click and add items. Obviously they've already been uh, added. So yeah, just select it here and it will add all the items to this uh, drop down here. They're not added automatically when you make a character box. So you need to put them in there. Okay, so once they're selected, say we want him to only override the arm controls. So select all the arm controls like that. Go to this menu here or this uh, button here. Click on that and mask selected items. We select that. 34 of the selected items were added to the layer mask. Okay, so we go OK and it'll come up with another uh, menu, uh, another dialog box here. It's now selected in the background here. You can see it's selected all the other items on the character. Uh, there are edited items in the layer that are not masked. Add these items to the mask to preserve the changes. Selecting no will clear the edits to these items from the layer. That just means that they will have the uh, original animation and these ones that we selected earlier will not have the original animation. So what we need to do is collect, uh, click on no. So no. Okay, so now we have the original animation of him running, but the arm is not part of the animation anymore. It's moving front and back because the uh, rib cage is rotating and it's part of that. But what we can do now is we can say, let's give him IK on his arm. So now that's enabled his IK and we can bring it forward and then move it around his wrist around here and say, look, he's running towards the pier, trying to stop a boat running away from a monster or something. It's like, wait for me. And let's bring his elbow down a bit here, like so. Like, wait, I'm running around like that. So now the underlying animation is still there, but the arm animation is stationary like that. And what we can do is we can, again, animate this guy. So let's give him a keyframe there. I think this is on a cycle, so uh, on a cycle of eight, is it eight? Yeah, eight. So keyframe that. And then let's bring it over here, maybe bring it out a bit more. Like so, bang, let's bring up the graph editor and copy that one, paste it there. That is the same as the first frame, like so, and then make it a linear, oh no, not a linear, a repeat. Make that a nicer curve there, and so now that repeats like that. And that is overriding the uh, uh, original animation, but the original animation is still there on the original layer, like so. Put that there, bring that back up. Yes. Running there, wait. Um, and we can even make bring back the additive layer. It's like, wait, just bring that back. Wait for me. And 
again, copy that, make that a nice curve, wait for me, type thing. And when he, oh, that's right, yeah, we moved it up. So at that time, make a keyframe, make a keyframe. No, don't go. Cool, okay, but it's still non-destructive. So everything underneath is still there. We can even go back to our walk animation and wait for that to load. And so all the uh, action layers are now gone, but they are, they are saved within the uh, run animation actions down here. We have the walk animation again, go in here, go into the skeleton. So this one, it's got a, just a normal walk animation like so. We can make override layer, oh, sorry, an additive layer, and like bring him down again, grabbing that first spline, make him like, he looks like he's really tired. So, this is not making any keyframes, but it's only additive to the character. Bring that in here like so. Oh, so tired. Still have to walk. I don't want to walk like so, or we can turn that off. Again, make an override layer. He goes back to the T-pose and we could select both arms like this and the IK controllers like that. Mask, selected items, yes, or okay. And then when this comes up, we know we don't want any of these other items to be masked so they can have the original animation underlying. There we go. And then we can give him more of a, oh, let's bring him, give him the IK, enable the IK there. And on this side, IK. And give him like a, a zombie type uh, pose to him. Like so. Oh, that's not override. Okay, so that's a good thing to show. Um, this wasn't selected in the masks, so you cannot um, mask or can animate that, uh, any of these control objects, if they're not added to the mask, like that. And so now we'll bring his, elbow, his elbows down as well, like this, like this. So we can bring this one in here like that. And now, Get rid of that one. And let's do a, a additive layer. So now we can edit these ones like so. Bring these even back. Give him a bit of a A zombie walk uh, like that. So yes, so there you go. There is the action layers. Thanks for watching and happy animating. Yum yum.